Welcome back to another video. This is actually part two in a two video series. Uh, the last one was the last video that was posted on this channel where we have a bunch of guys sharing their top two presentations for fall walleye fishing. So without further ado, let's keep it going. I'm gonna pass it off right now to Joel Nelson. It's fall, but maybe it doesn't feel like it. We've got bright sunny conditions. I've got some flat calm water out behind me. But rest assured, it really is the beginning of the fall bite window, and that's when I have two favorite baits, two favorite presentations, if you will, that I love to present for fall walleyes. And the first one is a really active presentation for active fish. This is the new Northland Pitch and Puppet, and it's a really great bait to be able to mimic so many of the bigger minnow species that are really prevalent and kind of gathering in the fall part of the year, you've got shad on the river systems and I fish that bite a lot. That's where a heavier bait like this is really nice to be able to get down and in and amongst those fish. The walleyes love sitting right below those schools. And if you're in lake settings like we are now, some perch are gonna congregate on some of the points, anything that's wind driven, you're gonna see those rafts of bait fish being pushed up against and the walleyes won't be far behind. So being able to drop a bait like this on them Offering a little bit bigger profile, a darting bait that glides, acts a little bit different like a wounded dying bait fish. It's a real advantage. And I tell you, in clear water especially, visual bites are what the key in the queue is. So being able to get away from the boat so you're not right on top of them in clear water, it's a really nice way to be able to fish in the fall. Last but not least is when you have conditions so much like we do today. And I'm gonna be just taking a plain hook and rigging up a big chub on it. And it's really a fall staple for so many people. Take these plain hooks, get yourself a decent lead. The longer the lead is usually gonna to relate to clear water. If you're in turbid water, it's even better. Then you can literally drive right on top of these fish as shallow as 10, 12 feet of water. However, when you have conditions like this, uh, kind of flat, calm conditions, you've got high bluebird skies, so often those fish are deeper anyway. So that's where it's really nice to be able to rig on top of them, drop something in their face, let that big swimming chub just kind of be able to captivate them and catch their attention. Let them have a little bit of line, uh, yeah, maybe a five second count, a 10 second count, depending on how they eat the bait. Be able to reel down and sweep hooks at that forward. Uh, it, it's a really productive technique for big fish especially. So if you're just pig hunting in the fall, Rigging a big chub is about, <laughs> is really where it's at. So my one-two punch, if you're gonna fish, get out there with a puppet minnow of any variety, specifically the pitch and puppet, and then rig some big chubs, especially for big fish, especially for deep fish. That's a one-two punch that's gonna work just about anywhere while I swim. Next up, I'm gonna pass it off to tournament pro Tom Wynn, who is absolutely one of the best walleye anglers on the professional series, and he's gonna share a couple of his favorite presentations for fall. As the water temps start to cool during the fall, you know, there's a sluggish time for these walleyes before they really start to turn on the feedback. And during that sluggish time, I like to put on a smaller bait, smaller bait profile. This is the 1 8 ounce tungsten paired with the green pumpkin eye candy grub. Now the reason I like the grub in the fall is because this wispy tail here, the super thin tail, it's buoyant. This whole plastic is buoyant. So as you're retrieving this, you retrieve it extremely, extremely slow, just along the bottom. You're not reeling it in, you're not swimming it, you're just kind of dragging it very slow with some pauses on the bottom. And when you're doing that, since this plastic is buoyant, this little wispy tail here, it's just sitting up here, doing its thing. It's just barely moving. And that sometimes that's just enough to pique that walleye's curiosity in order for it to bite. Now, once that water temp stabilizes and those fish get adjusted, I go bigger, all right? So this is the regular shank tungsten and paired with the eye candy crawler. And again, as you're retrieving this really slow on the bottom, this tail is just barely moving up here. And when they start to turn on that feedback, they want something big. They want something bigger so they don't have to exert as much energy to fatten up. They just want one bite instead of 20. So um, that's my choice, tungsten paired with eye candy plastics or tungsten paired with live bait, big minnows, you can't go wrong. So get out there this fall, let's catch some fish. Next up we have Dusty Minky, who is a tournament walleye pro and he's actually coming off 
a really good season here on the National Walleye Tour, uh, but he's gonna share a few of his favorite presentations for this time of year. What I really like using this time of year is uh, rigging. And uh, when I mean rigging, I like rigging big minnows. Uh, there's something in the fall where the fish just can't turn down a big minnow. You know, they're trying to trying to feed up and, and get ready for those winter months. So a big, nice red tail or a creek chub or even a bigger rainbow seems to be the key. And the way I like to use it is I like to put it on a rig. So right here, what I use is that quick snap that you can get from the rock runner uh, sinkers. And what I got here is a roach walker sinker. So I can, I can snap that off real quick and I can actually put on a uh, rock runner weight. Um, and, and the reason I do that is because sometimes when I'm fishing in rocks and with the zebra mussels now, uh, this keeps me up off the bottom out of the zebra mussels and less break offs. Um, if I'm not really fishing the rocks, this sinker works a lot better and I tend to use this too if I'm maybe pitching out a little bit towards the fish. Another thing I like to use is I use a lot more fluorocarbon once again because of the zebra mussels. I don't want break offs. I will switch back and forth uh, using that on my main line, um, but typically always like about an eight pound fluorocarbon on my, uh, on my leader. And I got about a three or four foot leader. Um, and then what I got on here is like a number two sized uh, Gamagatsu hook and then typically I put on a soft bead. And that soft bead just gives it a little float, kind of looks like the, the minnows maybe chasing something. Um, it's just always something that I've kind of used. Um, so give that a shot. That's my rigging setup. Uh, hands down, probably one of the best fall tactics you can use uh, for catching walleyes and big walleyes. And then from there, if they're not biting those, um, probably my favorite thing to do is use a reaction bait. And right here, I have the new Northland Pitch and Puppet. And I've, I've got to use this for most of the summer. Um, and, and this 5 Ace to me is just the right size. And this here looks just like a perch. I was out this last weekend and the fish are just gorging on perch. So this has been working for me great. You've noticed on reaction baits that, you know, sometimes they don't last that long. But on this one, you're going to get a little more life out of it with that coating over it. So give that a try. Give the rigging a try. Good luck this fall. You're going to catch more walleyes. Thanks. Next up, I'm going to pass it off to Donnie Obert, who guides up on Rainy Lake. He's already been putting a bunch of big fish in the boat this fall, and he's going to share a few of his favorite presentations. Hey, folks, Captain Donnie up on Rainy Lake. Say my favorite three presentations for fall walleyes. Uh, we're getting into fall now. We've got some colder temps up here. Um, one of the things I'm going to focus heavy on are glide baits, whether that is the traditional puppet minnow or the new pitch and puppet uh, from Northland, both of which can be very, very effective baits. Uh, my second choice would be um, trolling on snap weights, and I really like the Rumble B13 for that uh, when I'm pulling over the top of or adjacent to um, big rock reefs that dip into deeper mud. And my third favorite would be um, most most of the time in October, late September, early October, um, all the way through October, actually, I can get back on the Rainy River and then we will be back to pitching uh, <laughs> jigs and paddle tails. So I had a lot of luck this spring with that purple clear um, eye candy paddle tail and uh, eight ounce tungsten. So with any luck, the conditions will allow me to get back onto the Rainy River here um, late September uh, into October. And uh, those are my three go-tos every fall. Good luck. Now, of course, we have one of the most well-known guides in all of the Midwest, Brian Brosdahl. He's gonna share some of his favorite presentations for this time of year. When fall is here, I love using Northland stuff and my one-two punch is to throw a pitch and puppet. Look at that, that's a rusty crayfish. That thing's gonna catch fish. Throw it, and rip it, hop it back, crash it on the sand, and you will get bit because the fish are feeding up hard right now. And I have eye candy paddle tail, scent it up. This is super, super strong stuff, and it absorbs scent on an MVP jig. That's gonna get me some walleyes too. If the bite is really slow and it's not really happening and they're not jumping on stuff, I always have the jig and minnow option. Pitch it out there, drag it back, put a chunk of crawler on there. And this is on a slow bite. And of course, going back to my childhood, but with a little bit of high tech, Northland Light Bite Bobber 
with a sinker and a little tungsten jig to hang your chunk of crawler or your leech on. That's how I roll my one, two punch. Maybe there was a three and four in there for fall walleyes. Next up, we have one of the veterans of the walleye world, Tom Newstrom, who's a guide up in Northern Minnesota. He's got a few presentations that'll help you catch more fish this year. You know, hi folks, this is Tom Newstrom for Northland Tackle. You know what, catching fish in the fall is one of my mainstays, I love it. Just, you know, really nice walleyes like this, and it can happen to you too. The new tungsten jigs from Northland Tackle have been unbelievable for me the last, especially year and a half, because I got to prototype and I got to check them out. So, you know, you've got long shank and you've got short shank. The reason why I like the short shank at times is because it cuts through the water. It's pill shaped and it cuts through. Very, very sharp hook, unbelievable sharp hook. But I do like the long shank because I can hook it up with plastics. The new eye candy plastics from Northland Tackle I'll tell you what, it is a home run. Well, that's about all we got for you in this video. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Thanks to everybody for sharing some good tips. If you want some more tips just like this, make sure to check out the last video on this channel right before this video. Um, and there's a bunch more good tips and advice. So if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, make sure to hit that little red subscribe button down below. So we have a lot more awesome content coming in the future. And until then, we will see you in the next one.